Hi everyone and welcome to the first set of mailbag videos. Today as you can see I have a bunch of stuff that arrived arrive mostly from China and we're gonna open it up and see what we got and for what price. As a disclaimer none of the items here are sponsored so I bought everything by myself and I'm gonna use it for next projects that are gonna come in the future. Since I've already opened this one let's see what it is okay so this is a bunch of 10 micro 9, nine gram serv servos servo motors on the package they say model accessories and that's exactly what I'm planning to use it for as you, you're gonna see in future videos Okay, so here are the servo motors. Uh, I've bought a pack of 10 and they're currently selling for around, around 21 US dollars, but I've paid quite a lot less. I actually paid around 11 dollars, uh, including free shipping, and they came from Premier Blue Sky 38. Next up is this small package. It came from Shanghai and it says it's kitchen tools with the value of one US dollar and uh, 300 grams uh, although I don't think it weighs that much let's see what it is And it's a set of an exacto knife along with some spare blades. Again, this is part of the tools that I'm gonna need for the model that I'm gonna build in future videos. Oops, that's not a good start. Probably that's something that happened during the shipping. It doesn't seem to be fitting very nice here. Ah, okay. So you should put that here and then force it okay that should keep it okay so here is the exacto knife it came uh, in the package with the handle the blade that uh, was on the handle it was loose and the five additional spare blades uh, the package cost two dollars 94 and it came from lizard allen Next item is this yellow envelope, it says electronic parts, 100 grams, value of $3. And this one came from Hong Kong, New Territories, Hong Kong. Let's see what's inside. I hope I'm not cutting into anything. Okay, actually this is an item that I was waiting for quite a while now. And it's a set of 10 passive infrared sensors. Without the lens, I had the, the lens ordered separately. Since it's been quite a while that uh, since I ordered this, I was unable to find the original listing. So, but the search is quite easy. It's RE200B, and this is the particular model of uh, PR sensor that I have. 
and you can get a pack of 10 as I did for somewhere around five ish, uh, six ish dollars, maybe something cheaper. It depends on where you get them. Okay, next up is this one, which says it's some sort of an adapter with a value of five dollars, marked as a gift, and it came from again New Territories Hong Kong, Mr. Dial. Um, I'm kind of guessing what this is. Uh, hopefully, this should help me with the process of making further videos. As you can see, this is a remote control for controlling the camera either on iOS or Android. It came without batteries, so we'll try it on some other video once I get some, some batteries. There is an on-off switch on the side and two buttons. So here's, here is the uh, remote. I bought the black, there are several color options as well. And it cost me $1.24 or one British pound, actually 99 pence. And it came from Lead Market. Again, free shipping. Let's continue with the small items. This one says it's sponge with a value of 13 grams and uh, with a weight of 13 grams and a value of 0 0.7 dollars. And if I'm correct, this should be some soldier sponge, soldering sponges. They are quite small, a lot smaller than I thought they will be. I'm mm, not sure if they are really usable or not. That's about a millimeter thick. We'll give them a go. Here are the sponges on eBay. Uh, they cost just um, 99 cents Canadian dollars, uh, which is 0 0.74 US dollars, uh, free shipping, and I would, should have expected them to be small. Even you can see from the images that they they look very small. Um, there is no actually explanation saying that there are, ah, actually there is, my bad. One millimeter, so I should have checked that better. But we'll see how they're gonna work. They came from Fashion Woman Sale. Before I move to the larger items, I wanted to open this envelope, and as you can see, it's already marked what's on there. It's a sticker for the onion board, which, as advertised, it's one of the smallest Linux computers with Wi Fi. I still haven't got the board, I haven't purchased the board, but I'm planning to do so in the future. I don't really remember where did I did sign up for this, but I had some interest. And you see, it's their logo, Little Onion. Anything else maybe here? Okay, so this is a, a set stickers thought it's gonna be just the onion okay so it's hackster.io another one of the onion sticker a raspberry pi php and arduino stickers i think this was sponsored by onion I'll try to find and add a description where I got them. But this is kind of stuff that you can expect on the channel that you're going to see in future videos. 
and here is the onion website um, and there are stickers giveaway from what I can see here and what they say they've this is by the way this is now closed they've sent 160,000 stickers to 20 to more than 27,000 developers in over 120 countries and unfortunately uh, this is over but their crowdfunding campaign is financed uh, so we should be seeing more project with this Omega 2 board in the future for all of those that uh, would want some more additional sticker in future keep an eye on their website they say they're gonna be another sticker promotion in the spring so hopefully anytime soon now okay so we have this big boy here it says remote control helicopter parts 650 grams 34.25 I paid a bit more than that but as usual this is what they write on this custom declaration not the actual value that we pay this is again related to the model that I was talking about and it's actually a radio control system uh, ah. turning it the right side up is best so it's a FlySky FS1 uh, i6X digital proportional radio control system let's do quick unboxing as well so the plan is that in very recent fu uh, future I build a modern airplane I have this passion for quite a while now um, I used to build some some gliders earlier uh, but I haven't been into the modeling business for, for a while now and I'm planning to continue my passion. Let's see. So that's all in the box. We have the manual. All in Chinese. Okay, we have English as well. We don't need it for now. Let's see. Here's the radio. And some additional replacement stickers for this section on top. I'm guessing that uh, probably with some different labels or no labels. Okay. Let's see the radio. It's mode 2, so you can see the throttle is on the left. And then we have the other controls. Trimmer switches. There's a nice hook for hanging it on the wall. Switches. Potentiometers on top. And we have the menu, the bind key. And what I didn't show is it comes bundled with the receiver as well. This is the bind plug. And here is the receiver six, six channels and with all the plugs for the server motors and the speed controllers I'm still waiting on parts such as the controller for the speed controller for the motor the actual motor props and once I get everything then I'm gonna start building uh, the airplane with steps and tutorials on 
how you can replicate it as well. It does not come with batteries. It takes four uh, double A's. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, how to set it up and how to use it and most importantly how you can connect it with the trainer port that's on the back uh, so you can practice your flying skills uh, on the simulator and not crash your air aircraft okay so here's the fly sky fs i6x on ebay it cost me 54.4 us dollars and it came from yell underscore it it had free shipping and it also included as we saw earlier uh, packed in the box no batteries and it included the um, fs uh, ia6b receiver it says for drone but i'm actually gonna use it for a model airplane this is again a related item to the previous one. It says aerial photography spare parts, 120 grams, 4.5 US dollars. And based on the fill of this, uh, it should be a cable that would allow you to. Yep. So. This is a cable that will allow us to connect the FlySky controller to the simulator. Okay. So we've got this, which is an S video. 3.5 audio cable that then plugs like this and this one goes to the computer for the simulator I'll have a separate video on how to set this up and I'm guessing I'm not gonna need this one for now but I'm guessing that it's for connecting some sort of another type of controller. Here's the cable again of eBay. Um, it cost 3.94 British pounds or the equivalent of uh, 4.94 US dollars. Uh, the seller is free to buy and it had free shipping. Um, if here's the cable and the adapters and they say that they this one will actually um, work on many models of controllers there is not particularly the one that i have the fsi 6x but i think it should work because this is just an upgrade on the fsi 6 and the last item for today it says uh, where it is, where it is, where it is Charger And again this one goes In relation with some of the previous items Particularly this Should be A battery charger That's combined for multiple types of Batteries Yep, it's IMAX B6 AC 80 watts dual power, and it's primarily used for LiPo charging. It can charge lithium ion, lithium polymer, lithium ferrite, I'm not sure what those are, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, and lead acid batteries with 1 to 6 cells, 1 to 15 cells and 2 to 20 volts charge rate is 0 0.1 to 6 amps and discharge is 0 0.2 amps 
another quick unboxing we have the charger and it's the one with built-in AC adapter here are the power plugs it can either work on DC center positive or AC 100 to 24 to 240 volts 50 to 60 hertz and on the other side we have the power outputs and the balancer ports for the different type of batteries I'm gonna once I start using it I'm gonna do a full review and do another video I'm still waiting on the batteries to arrive we have a nice little manual that's all in English which is good and included are these cables for connecting the battery there are different types of cables I believe that this goes here and we have crocodile clips with a 2.5 I think it's 2.5 banana plug we have this which I'm not sure what exactly it is and then different connections for the batteries once I receive the battery then I'll do a full video on it the IMAX charger probably based on the price this is not the genuine one but should work um, more or less the same as the original as the Chinese are quite good with their clones uh, it says 80 watts high QE IMAX B6AC uh, which means it has the charger uh, the converter from 220 volts uh, included and it can work with lithium ion, lithium polymer, lithium ferrite, nickel, cadmium and nickel metal hydrate and it has also a discharge uh, option I paid uh, 20.65 British pounds or uh, somewhere around 25.87 US dollars and this, it included free shipping and the seller is say hello 2015. So these are all the items that we have opened up today on today's uh, mailbag. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions in particular for, some, for any of the items. Uh, if you want to know something that I can help you with, I'll do a separate video as I said on the charger and on the controller. And hit that subscribe button so you can get more content like this and more projects in future. Thank you.